Final race on National Day at Chartin, race number 10. It's a really good one to finish the program as well. Class 2 of the 1400 metres, headed by Beauty Legacy. Takes the class drop out of the Chief Executive Cup on the opening day. Disappointing that only beats uh, one horse home. Mongolian King, one fresh up at this season. General's Delight is first up for the campaign. Not usual talents, first up since February. Star Shine behind Mongolian King, first up, as was uh, Ballistic King. Mighty Giant won his last three races the back end of last season. He's fresh up for the season. Invincible Missile has got a perfect two from two. Record fresh up. Kairos Unicorn also coming out of the Mongolian King race. Amazing Chocolates fresh up. Uh, Bear Slam and the horse. The answer to the question, who beat Golden 60 in the only race? He's been beaten in so far. Star performance. Not usual talent, Starshine, Mighty Giant and King Opie are the horses that have been up at uh, Chung Fa within the last uh, 30 days. As we uh, have a look at the, uh, the speed map for this, we've made our way to the touchscreen as always for the final race. And as far as the speed is concerned, uh, Tom, saying good to slow. We're looking towards the outside, a horse like Mighty Giant, maybe to roll across and, uh, and find the front? He's either got to go forward or he's got to go back. When we've seen Mighty Giant in the past, he's been able to race right up on the speed. So I don't see any di differing di uh, tactics here this time round for Zach Pert and Mighty Giant. There's a number of horses that do get back in this race from sort of Ballistic King back uh, in the field there. King Opie could be prominent. Now, Beauty Legacy, he's gone back in most of his runs here in Hong Kong, but he, he settled nicely in his beat uh, barrier troll just behind the speed. So maybe they change the tactics. I think if he can roll along nicely, he's a, a definite player in this race, so Beauty Legacy. Star performance there, General's Delight. Now, they talk about those back markers, the likes of Star Shine, Invincible Missile. Kairos Unicorn will be looking for some speed on as well. Whether they get it or not with Mighty Giant, uh, remains to be seen, but um, I think you'll be able to head them up here from his stall of gate 13. All right, plenty to talk about. Uh, Paul, what have you spotted out at track work? Here is Mighty Giant. I thought I'd show him because he's likely to start uh, favourite in this race. Like he's won his last three. His trials have just been OK. Uh, I wouldn't say they've been spectacular. Um, 800 metres for him, though. You can see him. Again, amazing chocolate really pushed out in the last uh, 100 metres of his work. Now, he comes in with a really light weight. Change of jockey, Matthew Poon will take them out. But he has drawn wide. But he has drawn wide in the past and run well. But he's now up into class two. There's amazing chocolate. And the other one is star performance. Uh, he moves nicely here in his track work. Uh, that's him 429 closest to us. And uh, he stretches out well. Another one that comes in with a light weight here in the lucky last. All right, we'll have a look at uh, star performance again first up this season. Good run from him. But Mighty Giant is first up for the campaign. We can hear from his trainer, Ricky Yu. Mighty Giant Ricky, um, he looks a pretty promising horse the way that he's won his last few races, but we haven't seen him since April. Why is that? Oh, we, I mean, he's, he's, he's only still young and, and, and sort of uh, not fully mature yet. Uh, I, especially, I like the place Chung Fa. Uh, I like to send him back there, let him enjoy, uh, have, a, have a good break uh, before, before he runs again this season. He will have a, a pretty much a, a tough, tougher season than last season. So, um, well, it'll be interesting to see how he goes in, in this class and, um, and, and, a, and a wide draw. Well, uh, it, it'll, it'll do well. It'll do well. The, 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 um, the feedback from Chong Fa uh, is positive. What have you made of these barrier trials that he's had at Chong Fa? Uh, only average. But uh, I, I, I said to the, to the riders, just give him an a, a, a easy trial in order to keep him fresh for Hong Kong. Spoke about that wide draw, barrier number 13. Yeah. What will you be telling Zach? He's a pretty large horse, and the, uh, the wide draw uh, might not be a bad thing, you know? And Jockey knows him well, and uh, he'll, he'll be put in a, a good position, like a, a, a positive position, yeah. How much more improvement has he got, Ricky? Uh, this, is, this is a good, good, good question. <laughs> I think... Uh, He'll, he'll, he'll move up to maybe close up close to a, a hundred rating. You had a fabulous season last season, winning the trainer's title. We're a month into the start of the new season. How do you feel your stable start of the new season, Ricky? Uh, to be honest, maybe uh, it's not won't be as, as good as, uh, as as smooth as last season, because uh, 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 there's a uh, quite a few import and uh, the new arrivals. They 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 were possibly holding me back because they, they, they're still adapting the uh, environment and the track and some some of them um, are small issues and in saying that I already sent uh, a few back to Chongfa so um, 
Well, I mean, the, the, the rest of the horses, uh, um, uh, they're okay. I think uh, they are, I, I will most likely will still finish in the, in the first five in the, in the Premiership, you know. Uh, still a long way to go in the season uh, yet, but uh, Ricky, a big chance here with Mighty Giant returning. Let's have a look at some of his uh, rivals, and we have seen some of these horses already this uh, season, Tom. Starting off with uh, Mongolian King, who returned uh, with a win. Horses in behind him uh, that day. Ballistic King runs second. So we've got Starshine, who finishes in third place from a long way back as well. Kairos Unicorn right next to him. He eventually finishes in fifth. And uh, King Opie just tucked in behind runners, an eventual seventh. Yeah, and those horses behind Mongolian. And King really got speed to suit on this occasion as well because there was quite a lot of pace up front and the, uh, up front and the two pace influences in the end uh, dropped out but it was a very good win from Mongolian King dashing home down the outside. Ballistic King ran his usual honest race. I really like the run of Starshine but his second up record coming into this is not flash and even the run of Kairos Unicorn that would entice me to have a look at him next time Paul if he was up over further than what he runs here. Yeah it looks a bit short from those. Yeah, it's a, it was a funny run race this one because it did go really fast. So I'm just a little bit sceptical there, but uh, Mongolian King did win it nicely enough. Yep, all right, well, we'll keep moving. This is Star Performance. Again, we've seen this race a little bit earlier on, but excellent proposal, the winner. Star Performance uh, gets a, a good run in second, though, Paul. Yeah, really nice run from this horse. He's only the one-time winner, and he did win on his first occasion. He did beat Golden 60, as you said at the start. Uh, look, he's. I think he's a really good fresh horse, this horse. He did place second up, though. He has been placed second up. It's a strong form race that he's coming out of, and he does come in with a light weight. So he's definitely one of the players in the race. I've, I've found him hard to catch. He, he fought on really well here on the fence this time around, and he had the, the light, uh, had the big weight on his back, I should say, of 133 pounds. This time around, he's got 115 pounds stepping up in grade. I left him out. All right, Beauty Legacy won fresh up when he won here um, in Hong Kong. It's been difficult since. Ball have been trying to settle him, drop him back in. Um, have they been fighting a losing battle? Well, yeah, I don't know really. They, they, they keep trying. He looks, um, he looked settled last time, but dropped right out, didn't he? Behind a perfect match, he's going to have to improve a bit on that uh, performance. He's got the top weight to carry in a barrier draw number eight. This trial was good enough though from him. He's back to his winning distance here, 1,400 metres, and it's likely to with suit. And if they get a nice run behind them, he, I just have liked in his recent uh, trial and whatnot. He, he hasn't been getting fired up like he, he did in last season's campaign so I think they've taught him they've taught him a little bit that was high rev running second there as well look out for him on the weekend this is amazing chocolates uh, Tommy's fresh up for the season back at the trials uh, sort of rattled up the ratings last season forget he went round last time he had a, a shock of a run in transit four wide no cover throughout couldn't get in and uh, in the end he responded well to win this uh, barrier trial classic unicorn here beauty generation southern legend good luck friend uh, Player del Puente all in this uh, trial and uh, he's responded nicely here over the, the final stages to, to win it. Yeah, it was a really nice trial. I've got him in the numbers for sure. He's, the problem with him is he just keeps drawing wide. All right. Uh, Mighty Giant though, Paul. He's come up as uh, our favourites. Uh, you with or against? Oh, I've got one to beat him. I think he could be vulnerable first up, Mighty Giant, from that wide draw. So not usual talent. He's been up in Chung Fa. He's really enjoyed his time up there. He's on top to beat Mighty Giant. Uh, amazing chocolate and general's delight. Four, eight, twelve and three. Mighty Giant on top for me. I think he's going to be the horse to beat in the final race. Uh, over Beauty Legacy, General's Delight. And also through a not usual talent because he does have some talent. He's coming back from a bleeding attack. Eight, one, three and four. Good race, the last Mighty Giant for me as well. Straight into the stats, uh, though, Paul, Casper fans and Joe Moreira absolutely flying. Aren't they? Um, 13 rides uh, for the team, six wins, two seconds, 46% win rate. I think I'll add to that. The <laughs> Sky Field, most punters will agree with that one. Also got Super Kin as well. They have. We'll come back to him in a second. Who's your best on the programme, though? I'm going to go with Uncle Steve in race number nine. I think he's uh, ready to win. It was, comes out of a strong form race. He's drawn wide, but I think he can get back and run on nicely. And not usual talent. Uh, look, he's going to be a big price. 25 to 1 will take a chance. His winning distance has been 1,600, but he can run a good fresh at 1,400 metres. And the QQP, the play in the last, not usual talent, mighty giant and amazing chocolate. Start the day with a bang with Pegasus Glory. Let's hope race one, number one, Derek Lung riding and uh, flying victory. Race nine, number five, Chance Schofield, four of Frank. Frankie Law is the value runner of the play in that race with Uncle Steve and he's a beauty, 2 5 11, race nine. All right, I'll go early as well. Starship for me, Neil Callan and Paul O'Sullivan. Super run 
runner-up uh, first up this season. And Super Kin, Casper fans and Joe Moran. Be looking for a double-figure price. That needs to improve off his all-weather run. Angel of Myers, Seaweed Fortune and Super Kin is the QQP for me as well. And I might have to borrow your tie for the... Oh, it's got the Super Kin colours on there, Tom, if, uh, for racing on Thursday. Yeah, good programme coming up. Uh, let's hope uh, Super Kin can get the job uh, done. But uh, should be some good racing uh, throughout the day and, of course, the quick backup Sunday. Yeah, some really good racing coming up on Sunday as well. So uh, we'll see excellent proposal go round again on Sunday. He's unbeaten this season. Yeah, two out of two and up to 1,800 metres as well. Fascinating. John Sizer really got up and running uh, quickly. But that's the show. Thanks for watching. Hopefully we'll see you again on Thursday at Chartin. We will be racing to win. Good night.